through of what students experience when they look at the research methods part of their extended essay companion. For this walkthrough, I'm going to be using the social sciences trend. This will differ for natural sciences and for languages. Now, the first thing it does is lays out really nicely and clearly all of the different steps I need to work through as a student before I get to the checkpoint at the end of research methodology part A. So we're going to be working through the key components in the research question, source evaluation, defining these components, and getting background information on these key components to move to the checkpoint of the moment. So the first thing I'm going to do is put down my research question here again. And I'm looking at how does the um, acquisition of Flipkart by Walmart affect market structures. So in here, the key components are market structures, um, acquisition, Walmart, and Flipkart. In here, it probably helps for me to define market structure and acquisition, but if I'm not sure, I can just click here for an example and look at what needs definition within economics. As I move forward, it now takes me to source evaluation. So a quick signpost to the four main types of biases that I will find in the sources I'm looking at. And if I'd like to learn about these in more detail, I can just click here and get some more information. Now as I move forward, it does a quick check to see if I've actually understood what sort of sources are reliable and what sources are unreliable. And as I answer these questions, it gives me some feedback. As I've learned source evaluation, I now move forward to looking at how do I define key components. So right here, I can add my definition of market structure, and all of this is going to be very handy later on as I move to the next stage. So the next stage is conducting background research for each component. And it tells me to go read about market structures and as I read to fill in relevant information here that I can add to my checkpoint document. For all of this again, there are examples that I can refer to and there's the Calibre research tool that's going to help me as I do my reading online. So I can continue reading about these different aspects uh, and get some background information on it. And as I do that, I keep filling in the checkpoint document. Next, it helps me look at asking relevant questions. So I have some examples here on how to ask relevant questions to take my research question forward. So this is really guiding the sort of research that I need to be undertaking for each component. And finally, it lets me move to my checkpoint document. Now right here, I'm going to add the sources that I've come across using the Calibre Research Tool. And it has all of the information that I've been putting in all along right here. And this gets emailed to me. And again, I take this to my meeting with the supervisor so they can see my work, but it's organized, I've talked through it, and I've upskilled on learning all of the different aspects I need to keep in mind as I do my background research. 